How's it going? Jim here. We're going to talk about the uh, headlights on this thing. You got one there, and you got one there. Of course, it makes sense you got two. But anyways, there is a trim ring that goes in there. So the trim ring is a self-indexing unit. And this one happens to be the passenger side. A lot of these old vintage vans are missing the trim rings because uh, I particularly know a gentleman uh, that went to all of the salvage yards across the country uh, and scooped up a lot of the hard parts like the trim rings. Uh, he's been uh, you know who I'm talking about if the older van or crews are uh, watching this. So I happened to buy these two trim rings from that gentleman at a van meet. Because he was selling uh, parts at the same time out of his show van. Uh, because these trim rings were missing when I picked this thing up. Now I had to repair a couple of these posts in here. And uh, I've had these trim rings cleaned and sandblasted for about um, two years now, sitting in sand. And for two years, sitting in sand, this is what happens when you sandblast stuff. And you leave it in the sand or the dry media on dry concrete. They stay clean. And, and uh, matter of fact, my, here's my thumb. That's going to start rustling now. So we ain't going to worry about that. Uh, these had to have a little filler in it. So I'm showing you, because uh, I've seen a, seen a couple of videos on uh, YouTube. There isn't any uh, trim rings on the, on the other vans. So I'm going to show you what is going on. This one I just had to uh, put a little bit of filler on a couple of spots. But the uh, pa uh, driver's side one is extensive. And this stuff is uh, really, really thin. It's sheet metal. But you can, these are really, really smooth. Uh, these had, these were pink and blue. So there's a couple pits right there, but this extensive hole I had to weld and fill and what I use is a piece of copper or aluminum whatever you have primarily copper uh, I use a piece of copper tubing folded and bent to the contour of the radius of this and then basically um, you weld to the back of that so it builds up your weld now I had to weld it on the front and then I had to weld it on the reverse side. Now what that's going to happen, there is, you're going to get a little warpage, but it's not that. It's very, very minimal because of the contour lines. You can see how square this is now. Very, very straight and true. Um, so, if you can't get, if you don't want to heat this up anymore, what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you don't want to braise it. You don't want to do the old, you don't want to do the old brazing. That's too hot. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if this doesn't come clean with the, uh, sander, I'm going to, uh, get it down as flush as I can and, uh, maybe, uh, fill this in with some, uh, some, uh, silver solder and, uh, you can just heat that up with the torch and some flux. And that'll get it pretty smooth. Uh, that's basically metal on metal. And then you could put a you know little filler on there, but very minimal. We're gonna see what happens. Just to let you know, trim rings are being established for a '66 GMC G1000 handy van. Have a good day.